Now we are going to do the last part of the process, the conversion of the PKL to FBX. And the original page, there is more information I've added, FBX conversion. That's the part we're going to do now. To do it, you must go to this page, uh, create an account, it's free and then you go to this site, you cannot go directly to this link because they doesn't allow if you go, you get a uh, download denied page so you must go to this page and do your registering here I'm already registered and logged in so we can go to download page go all the way through the end and download this file this unity version you download it, I already downloaded it it takes a bit it's not so fast server, well at least it wasn't when I downloaded it ok so you download this file and you unzip all this information is basically on the original website the, the Vibe project link I just added some things and added some links but basically all of it is here let's go back uh, so you download the file you extract it on the data folder let's go here I have already downloaded open it and go to the vibe data folder I already extracted that but let's do it again I'm extracting the unity file folder inside this data file that's done next thing, install the Blender API version in the previous video we have installed the Vibe using Anaconda and virtual environment so we need to go back there Anaconda, Anaconda prompt let me go to the folder CD mocap the vibe and here you see that it's in the base environment we must go to the virtual environment which is doing conda activate vmv it was the name that was created in the previous video so now the vibe virtual environment is activated so what we must do now is install BPI which is the blender API for Python so we do pip install BPI in my case it's already installed and you see that it's very important look here where it is installed let me do thing. Let me uninstall it. Let me install API. Yes. And install it again. You notice here when you just install it, it doesn't show the place where it is installed. But if you put to install again, it will show. So it's easier to find where it is. And why is that needed? Because the next part you have to download uh, Blender 2.82a and have to copy this 2.82 folder to this place 
the virtual environment folder. So you install the PPI, you download the Blender. In this case, I already downloaded it also. Okay, so you download, and now you must go to this folder. Let me copy. I'm gonna open it first because it will be easier to do things. So I'll go to my virtual environment site and here where I have the Python executable is where I'm going to extract this folder. So I can push it here. Now that this folder is here, everything is done. In the last video, I I had tested Vibe and created this Vibe output PKL. So I'm gonna use this pose estimation creation and run here. Uh, copy. You see that he is converging the file creating the FBX. 300 poses is creating and no cap vibe. I forgot the place that it outputs. Output sample video. Oh, it's in the same folder. Simple video, and here is the FBX file created just now. It wasn't created now. Okay, let me erase it just to test. That file was a creation, and I tested a little bit earlier to see if everything was alright. And here we have it, fresh. Now we can test that other part that's very interesting. We can open Blender. I like to use this 2.90 version. So here we can do file, import, FBX, then we go to um, mockup, vibe, output, sample, and here is the FBX. Import this guy, and we have one last thing to do. You see that it's not the best way possible. The bones are messed up, the position is messed up. So let we let re import it again. A new file, I won't won't save it, import again, FBX and the last file. And we select the FBX file. That's interesting. Huh? Go to Armature, Automatic Bone Orientation, and import it. Now the bones are much more interesting. We can see it. We will put display in front, you see that it makes much more sense, but the position of the body is not interesting.
but we can fix doing this uh, select the bone go to pose mode select these root bone and we can see that for all the 300 frames it has just initial frame keyframe and the last keyframe I'm gonna make the timeline all the way through 0 to 300 so we can see it is moving as the video we used to do the pose estimation but let, let's fix this uh, we can go to the first frame select this bone select R to rotate Y to move only one the Y direction and put 90 so this is fixed the right orientation and we must insert keyframe rotation now you see that that yellow bar disappeared because the first frame is different from the last one so if we do we go back to the wrong position so we get this select this keyframe shift D to duplicate and move it to the last frame so now he stays correctly just going a little bit forward you can see that this this animation it's a little bit shaky so we can do can use it better doing two more steps which are let me add another window here and go to the graph editor and select all the bones just press A let, let's see better this open this okay you can smooth the frames and it will be much better you can go to key um, smooth keys you see that it moved a little bit you can do it one more time I like to do two or three times one more time the animation is a little bit better it's not so shaky uh, but you can see that it has also a lot of frames it's every single frame has a keyframe we can also do a cleaning clean keyframes and here I like to use 10 you see that it's not so full of keyframes you can test it move it a little bit to see if the animation is good enough for you for me it looks okay better and less clumsy so that's it now you can save and use it when whatever you want if you allow me to I, I would like to go a little bit forward and save it as an um, action so you can pick up lots of videos convert it to animations and save it as actions so you can use in the NLA editor to do that you can go to dope sheet action and push down now when you go to nonlinear lonely ah, this <laughs> when you go to this window you have the armature here ready to be used and masked and <laughs> masked <laughs> to be used in whatever way you want you can duplicate uh, tra transition to another action and so on well, well let's finish here till the next time